Hey folks, Aaron at Redbird Speed. Today I want to talk about the differential that you choose to put in your case. So what kind of spool or posi are you going to use in the case that you select? So first thing is you got to pick the right case to go with the right posi. So like we were talking about 3062, 3250, 3812 cases. So like let's say in an instance with this 31 spline true track, you would use a 3062 case for that carrier. Um, so this, this is going to be a gear driven unit. It's hard to see in the video, but there are gears in here. Um, you know, you got your main gear, you got your gears around the outside. So when you're going around the corner in this, the wheels can turn at a different rate of speed. So now in the spool, this is a solid chunk. You know, you can see the splines in here on both sides. This is a solid chunk of steel. So when you're going around a corner with a spool, both wheels are going at the same rate of speed. So when you're driving a spool, on a street, you know, it tends to want to push. So, so what I mean by that is if you're turning in a tight turn into a parking spot, both wheels are trying to move at the same rate of speed. So it can drag the tire and, you know, try to push around corners and it doesn't give the best street driving experience. It is a lot less money. Uh, we get people trying to run spools in the street to save money, but oftentimes, you know, it doesn't give you the best driving experience. So, these are going to be smooth around corners. They're going to handle good power, gear-driven units. Another option, if you have just like a four or five hundred horsepower, you know, streetcar, you can get a spring and clutch style posi. There's cone style posies. Um, you know, those are going to be, you know, the springs and clutches allows it to slip and you know allows the wheels to go at a, a different rate of speed around corners. So it still makes it streetable. You know, a lot more than a spool, but. Um, we do we do a lot of true tracks, we do a lot of wave tracks, a lot of units like that where the gear driven unit handles the power, you know, good drivability around corners. So this is probably going to be our most popular unit. Spools are going to be primarily for drag racing. This is another true track out of a, a Ford rear. You can actually see the gears in this one a little bit better. So this one's got carrier bearings pressed onto it, this one does not. So. Um, any questions about this, what fits your application, what you're doing, all these parts have to work together. So like 3062 case works with, you know, 28, 31 spline posies, you know, 33 spline schools. Uh, you get into like a 3250 case, that's whenever you're going to start getting into the 35 spline posies and a lot of 35 and 40 spline schools. 3812 cases are going to be for your like your pro profiled schools that take the really big 3812 carrier bearings. So if you want to talk about these posies, spools, what fits your application, spring and clutch style posy, gear driven posy, spool for drag racing, it really just depends what you're doing with your build. So if you want to talk about carriers, give us a call, 260-301-2424. and get us at redbirdspeed.com, shoot us an email, whatever works best for you, drop a comment below. Hey, be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to keep going with this complete rear end series. We're going, to go, we're going to talk about pinion supports, we're going to talk about setup kits, we're going to talk about yokes. Uh, we shot some videos about cases, so any questions, let us know. We appreciate you watching. Have a good day.